Hello, I'm Paul Stryer, an architecture consulting engineer with Cisco Systems. Today's lab is Cisco Unified Communications Manager 9.x New Features Lab, Part 5 of 6, Kodak Preferences. Kodak Preferences. Prior to Release 9, it was not possible to indicate a specific Kodak when there are more than one possible match, but rather just indicate from a couple of predefined Kodak lists to choose from, namely lossy and low lossy. Starting with release 9.0, administrators can choose to either use one of the two existing lists or create a new list that allows a more granular codec list to be used between devices. Because of two-way audio limitations in our virtual lab, we are going to use Unity Connection to demonstrate the usage of codec preferences. Because of this, we will need to enable G.722 codec on the Unity Connection server. In a supported browser, navigate to the Unity Connection Administrator webpage. Enter your username, enter your password, and click Login. In the navigation pane, select Port Group under the Telephony Integration section. Select Phone System 1 Port Group. From the menu, select Edit Kodak Advertising. You will notice that the defaults of G711 and G729 are enabled. Select G722 in the Unadvertised Kodaks. Hit the up arrow to move it to the Advertised Kodaks. Then click Save. Notice the warning at the top of the page that one or more ports needs to be reset. From the breadcrumb trail, select Port Groups to return to the previous page. Click Reset to reset the ports. Using a supported browser, Navigate to the Unified Communications Manager Administrator web pages. From the menus, select System, Region Information, Audio Codec Preference List. Click Find. You should see the two default codec lists, Lossy and Low Lossy. These have been around for a few releases, but were not accessible to be manipulated. Click Copy next to Default Low Loss. Change the name and the description to a preferred naming convention. In our first example, we're going to take G711ULaw64K and move it to the top of the list. Next, click Save. In the related links, click Go to go back to the previous screen. Notice that your new list is now available. From the menu, select System, Region Information, and then Region. Click Find, and then select the default region. Notice we are set at the factory default of low loss. From this workstation, we will test a call by clicking on the voicemail button. When the voicemail answers, we will double click on the question mark to see the call statistics. This behavior is correct because G722 is the first codec in the list that has 64K bits and is supported by IP Communicator and Unity Connection. Back in the Regions webpage, we will select Default under Regions and select our new list under Audio Codec Preference List. 
then hit save. Again, we will test our Kodak preference list by clicking on the voicemail speed dial and then selecting the question mark twice to see our call statistics. In our previous call, we were at G722. Now we are at G711. Thank you for watching this video on Cisco Unified Communications Manager 9.x new feature, Kodak Preferences. And as always, thank you for using Cisco Systems products.